Welcome to Earl Stewart on Cars with Earl and Nancy Stewart. Reach them with your questions at 877-960-9960. I've got a question. Um, I'm looking at buying a car here. And, uh, far, uh, you know, I've heard car faxes are a good resource to utilize when you're looking for a car. But then now I've just re- recently saw something online about some of these car faxes are fake or they can be altered or something like that. Is that the case? And maybe you can give some insight on how to use a Carfax when you're buying a car. Boy, and uh, I'll just let you respond and, and, and listen to the show. Thanks. John, John, thank you very much. You know, isn't this amazing? They are actually counterfeiting Carfax reports. And this was in the newspaper or uh, television about people who bought cars. The car dealer provided the purchaser with a Carfax report. I guess they put it in their glove box or something. And then later on, they took a look at it and said, hey, this isn't the real Carfax report. So we were astounded. And uh, all you listeners out there, buyer beware. Anna Hu bought a 2010 Mercedes SLK 300 from Bayside Imports in Queens, New York. As soon as she began driving her new car, she heard noises coming from the front of the vehicle and returned to the dealership looking for a Carfax report. What she got was a report which indicated that nothing was wrong with the SLK. Her mechanical issues didn't go away and lacking trust for that dealership, she visited another store looking for a Carfax on the vehicle. This time the report noted that the Mercedes had been in a major accident and had potentially hazardous structural damage. The allegation is that the dealer who sold her the car falsified the Carfax report. She called the local news, which showed up at the local dealership and demanded answers. The dealer principal called some of the Carfax info opinion and then assigned blame for the error to a salesperson. In the end, the store has proposed a $2,000 settlement without any admission of guilt. PIX 11 reports that negotiations for that settlement are ongoing. When you go into a car dealership, a lot of times they advertise. In fact, if you're a Carfax dealer, they have signs and things like this. We provide Carfax reports to all of our buyers. Well, you want to be sure. <laughs> you want to be sure this is not a counterfeit Carfax report. So, attention car dealers, we know you're listening. We're going to be doing mystery shops of your Carfax reports. We're going to have a legitimate Carfax report on an advertised car. So we'll have the real one. Then we're going to ask you for a copy of your Carfax report, and we're going to find out if any of you out there are doing counterfeit Carfax reports. Rick? Just a little side note on that. Uh, Folks, if you're considering buying a car from a private party, from someone that you've found an, an ad online or Craigslist or something, and you're going to buy this from another individual Get a Carfax yourself on that. For the second time now in recent history, I've had a car come into the shop that the person just bought that needs major engine work, and it's got a mileage discrepancy. The odometer shows over 60,000 miles less than what I expect this car to be because I have service histories from Toyota that show me that the odometer is not reading the correct mileage. Very good. So what you're saying, Rick, is that Carfax reports are not the gospel. They are not the absolute answer. And there's other reasons, too. I mean, uh, I have dealt, uh, have situations where um, we had a case with a, a Carfax report that said cosmetic damage only, and it turned out it was far more than cosmetic damage. That's correct. This is a recommendation I make to anybody buying a used car. Get the Carfax report. They're about 95% accurate, but they're not 100%. Take it to a mechanic. Take it to your mechanic, third party. You don't want to use the car dealer's mechanic or the car, used car lot's mechanic. Go to your own person that you trust. Might cost you 100 bucks, 150 bucks, and say, just do a check on this car. Is there something that I don't know about? That'll be the best 100 bucks you ever spent. Rick? And it certainly couldn't help if you're buying a car for, not from a dealership or anywhere else, or if it's not the same make dealership, if you're buying a Ford, stop at a Ford dealer and ask them if they will run the VIN number and just print you the service history on that car. Yeah. Because that gives you a lot of information about what's been done on that car, and it takes literally less than five minutes. I guarantee any dealership would be happy to do that because then they'll hope that you'll come back and have the car serviced with them.
Hi, this is Earl Stewart. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to be notified of new videos that we post to our YouTube channel, simply click on the subscribe button at the lower right-hand side of the screen. Earl Stewart.